Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. Just wanted to throw something out there um, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing in my life. Today is day five. Day five, De- December 5th. And um, many of you may know that I am a Muslim and I've been partaking in Islam for about 24 years now. And every year, um, when you're a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in December, he prescribed that month as Ramadan. Now, some people may say, you know, Ramadan is not in December. Well, according to the teachings and according to um, all of the books that are out there, there's really no laws when Ramadan can't take place. You know, but according to the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the best time to take it, and he prescribed it, is for December. And there's numerous reasons why, because it goes, uh, it shows a, a display of discipline. You know, courage to be able to go against all of the things that are really going on within this month. You know, you're able to sit back and what that Ramadan consists of is no eating or drinking or sexual activity during daylight hours. And that's it. Well, you have to read the Holy Quran, which is what, about 1,200 plus pages. Um, Your dietary is even more strict, which is you eat once a day, but there's no meat unless you consider fish and meat. And that's the only thing. So you basically become almost a vegetarian for the entire month. So, you know, you, you, your body begins to work in a manner in which it was made to work. You know, you have so many people tell you that you're supposed to eat. You can eat three times a day, four times a day. I've heard six times a day. Well, according to what we were taught, it's best to eat one time a day and to eat the best foods that one time a day. That it takes 24 to 48 hours before one meal is actually digested. So if it takes that long, but we are told to constantly keep adding food to it, that means your system never stops and takes a break. Hence, all type of issues come about, be it health and things like that. Well, those of us that follow the teachings and abide by the dietary laws and all of that, you can see a distinct difference in our look. And our behavior, our health. So you take it upon yourself and do what you think is best for you. Because I'm going to continue on doing. But I wanted to just shout out and say this is day five. You know, this is, like I said, my 24th Ramadan. So it's really easy for me. You know, sometimes you, you want something to drink here and there. But as far as the eating, it's no big deal. And I just know there are a lot of people out there that are starting it for the first time. And congratulations to you all. And then I also know there are a lot of people that... Um, partake in it for health reasons in themselves and they might not even be a part of the belief and congratulations on that because what it does the entire premise of this is to help make you a better you and that's what we're all about making you a better you so day five december 5th everything is going really well you know i usually lose five to ten pounds a month you know i have to cool out on working out because of the stamina and all stamina and all of that but you know i definitely get my eat on after hours and all of the other things that i can partake in and as far as my reading it's going really well so i'll hit you back up in a few days maybe five days possibly ten days and give you an idea of my progress and if i've talked to other people what their progress is too so with that conversation corner saying peace remember be smart think first think first be smart Uh, peace